Hello guys and welcome back to the Field Gamers channel. I am excited to be doing my first video here at Trine University, which is where I am going to college. I have not updated my background information, but I will be doing that soon. I am here at Trine University studying mechanical engineering, which is why I love Minecraft so much, because I like to build and I like to use my um, analytical mind to build things like this house that you uh, have chosen to watch the video of for today. So, I have done another modern house in my world of, uh, my modern world that I just recently started. I will also be doing some tutorials soon, and um, I'll be doing more with my Star Wars soon. My next video after this will actually be a, a Star Wars video. So, um, uh, so, let's go ahead and check this out. I'll go ahead and show you the whole outside of the house. Um, I chose to do a diagonal roof. I thought that was um, interesting compared to my other house that I did recently. It was just a flat all the way around basic, a little too basic. And then for the backyard, I usually like to keep my backyards pretty plain, but I did add a little bit of detail into it. I got um, pretty basic. You got a back porch, a hot tub, the dining table, not a dining table, like a picnic table on the back porch. And then we have a, a fireplace over here, which you can see over at the bottom left. Um, I'll walk around the house here in a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and finish doing a, an aerial view for you. And then over to the right, you can see a bench, so it's just like a casual sitting area, and then stepping stones that lead you to the deck, to the front yard, and then um, out the back, wherever that goes. It doesn't go anywhere yet, but later on it will go somewhere. So let me go ahead and finish doing my aerial view for you, you guys. So it looks good from the back and the front. And this side of the building is kind of plain, but I didn't really... There's a mountain over here to the to the right of the house. So there's really no, no view from this side. So over here you can see there's a mountain. So there's really no point of putting too much on that side of the house. But here we go. Here's the front of the house again. And compared to my last house, like I said, I, I like the look of this house just from the front. Uh, I added a lot of new things, a lot of new landscape. And it's just different. So before I go into the house, I wanted to show you one thing that I uh, made up because I've never I've never seen this before. But my garage, I wanted to do an actual garage door because I haven't done that before. And what I did is I used trap doors on just a plain wool background, and it looks like a garage door. Then there is a garage behind the garage door as well. There's nothing in the garage; it's plain, but it's still the uh, the garage door. And I think it actually looks a lot like a garage door and I tried a lot of different ways to make a garage door and I think that was one of the best ways I could get it to work so you guys can feel free to um, doing something like that too if you want for your own houses so here let's go ahead and before we go inside I want to show you the full outside the yard so let's walk around here there's flowers bushes pretty pretty plain a few trees here's the the bench I told you and then you just walk through here on the stepping stones Nothing goes out to the back yet. It's just uh, plain. There's actually I was gonna do something with the the lake back there, but I haven't done anything with it yet. But I will in order. And then we have. Oh, I'm a little laggy right now. I apologize for any lagginess. The internet here at Trine is not the best, but bear with me. And then, um, I like the fireplace idea because I personally love sitting around a fire, going camping and stuff. So for this, this is just kind of an idea. So you can go outside in your backyard at night and. Have a campfire to sit around and then you also have your your modern modernness to the house with a, a pool and a place to eat like a, a picnic i'm gonna go ahead and fly around to the front again because i don't want to go into the back door so oh sorry again the lag all right so let's go ahead and start with the front door here is the house i did not invite that skeleton in here i don't know why he's in here um, but here's a, a fireplace. Usually I have a lot of a, like a TV a stereo system, some sort of TV in my house, most of the houses that I designed. But I wanted to do a fireplace because, again, I wanted to make this a little different from the mo most of the houses that I usually make. So we have um, a couch, one of my favorite types of couches that I like to make with a little bit of a, a footrest right here with a um, fireplace. And I will be doing a tutorial later on how to build fireplaces like this I'll give you a list of different types of fireplaces you can build 
such as this one. So this will be like, this is a very basic fireplace. This is probably as basic as you can get. But I will make more larger fireplaces and a lot of different designs that I'll provide for you. With two uh, pictures on both sides for it to be symmetrical. I, I'm very big with having everything to be symmetrical. A desk with a skeleton standing on top of it for some reason. And um, yeah, just a lot of lamps and stuff to keep keep the room bright. Then over here is the eating area, dining area. And then with a lot of these plants and desks is just filler space because if you don't have anything sitting there, then it's just empty. And I don't like my houses to look empty. So same with this, another uh, desk um, of some sort, like a little an area, a resting area. And then here's my kitchen. I really like this kitchen. I like it a lot. Um, it's the basic island. I usually use this for a lot of my houses as well because couches or couches, uh, kitchens with islands typically look a lot better for the modern look. So then you got the, the, the refrigerator. Sorry, I went blank there and you can open and shut it. And then you have your furnace area or stove area. Sorry. And then you've got your, um, cabinets and stuff that are above here. So very basic, very basic uh, kitchen. And then, uh, like I said before in my other video, I like the the um, crafting tables in this texture pack because they look like countertops. It's like the perfect design. It actually has a countertop for it, but they're actually crafting tables. So you, if you need to craft anything too, you can just go to your kitchen and use the whole table to craft on. Here's the garage I said before. There's nothing in it, but again, if there were cars in here, I'd be able to put a car in there, but we don't have cars in Minecraft yet. So let's go upstairs real quick. You got your little balcony area that looks over the um, the, the living room. A uh, large painting of, I think that's, the sh there's the hobbits, I think they're at the Shire. Um, which I will actually, while I have that on my mind, I will be recreating the Shire soon on my Minecraft. So if you want to um, subscribe later on, one of my bigger projects for my future, I'm going to be recreating the Shire. Because that is one of my favorite um favorite scenes well there's a lot of favorite scenes i have but that's one of my favorite scenes for lord of the rings and uh since the hobbit is coming out i thought i would do the shire and um in relevance to the new movie coming out because i will definitely be seeing that movie um so here's a little desk so i can do my studies i guess and then my bedroom uh, i got a dresser here a bed um a tv there's my tv because i have to have you have to have a tv in the house without a tv i mean come on what would you do in a modern society without tv um but um so there's a tv little dr uh, desk over here desk on both sides of the bed actually and then uh, these drawers i love these drawers if you use the new dark wood that came out in the new texture pack with a with pl or their signs and you put a little here i'll go closer you put a circle in the middle of the sign by just typing in uh, a, a uppercase O or you can do a zero or an oval or whatever. And they, they give you the cabinet look. So it actually looks like a cabinet. It's perfect. I love it. And um, I'll show you how to do all that stuff in another tutorial. I'll be doing a lot of tutorials. So if you want to learn how to build houses like this, stay tuned, subscribe, because I will be doing tutorials so that you can make houses that look awesome like this. And I'm really excited to do that because I want to help you guys and the whole Minecraft community build stuff like this because, I mean, that what's the fun of Minecraft? It's fun to watch me build this stuff, but it's also fun to do it yourself. And um, I know that from experience. I used to watch videos all the time, and then I was like, I want to do it myself. So and I know you guys are doing the same thing, thinking I wish I could make a house like this, and I'm going to help you guys build stuff like this. So if you could subscribe, I will help you out in the future when I get these tutorials made. So here's the, uh, the, the, the end of the bedroom got your own little balcony just for the privacy of the just for the people who live here so and then of course there's my house from my last video so I have neighbors um, on the other side of the house that's where I was gonna make my next house but for some reason I got off track and did a house over here so my next modern house for this modern house series that you're in will be on the other side um, over there where I'm looking at but you can't really see it the rendering distance is not exactly the, the highest right now because I'm already glitching enough the way it is. So, that is basically all. I'm going to go ahead and fly. There we go. So that we can come back out here. So yeah, that's the end of this modern house. Again, I would very much appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to me. If you're not subscribed to me yet. Um, as soon as I get 100 subscribers, I will be doing another giveaway. 
So if you go ahead and subscribe now, you're already on the list to be on that next giveaway. Um, and I'm really excited to do that. Because my last giveaway, people, the the winner um, is now gonna, the winner for my last video is now gonna start his own uh, YouTube page. So I feel very accomplished in helping uh, my subscribers, and I want to be able to help all those people that are subscribed to me. But if you're not subscribed to me, I'm not gonna know who you are. I'm not gonna be able to help you, and there's really not gonna be any relationship uh, for us. So please do subscribe, and I will be back in probably a few days with another video. Um, and it'll be a Star Wars video, so and I'm not gonna tell you what what the video is gonna be about because I want to surprise you So thanks for watching and come back. Thank you